Okay, so on this site, we're going to plant a Mimosa Borealis, which is a very hardy plant. Uh, it has thorns on it. It's fairly much deer resistant. And uh, it also goes by the name of Fragrant Mimosa. It's beautiful flowers and it's a perfect plant for this particular area, which is a little more degraded than, say, on the berm, which has uh, fortified soils. So this area is also likely to have rock, but that's what we have this for. So we're going to dig a hole. It's going to have a diameter about three times the size of that pot. We're going to have it slope in with irregular size. And it's going to be deep enough just so the uh, top of that soil is even with soil here. So this is going to be a, a nice long dig, but it's also very satisfying. Depth gauge, so as you can see, still a little still deep. A little bit deep, so we'll fill in a little bit more. All right. Yep. You can see it's the right height. Oh, that looks good. So. A mixture of uh, some seaweed extract in it and uh, hence the really nice golden color and that's a wonderful protectant for the roots and uh, it helps stimulate growth. The plants need copious amounts of water during the growing phase, during their establishment phase because you saw the roots are only as big around as that pot. When the plant is uh, grown the roots are going to extend out a very large area and that's why we had a sloped uh, hole going in to give those feeder roots a chance to move way out quickly but plants need a lot of water to get established but once established they will uh, grow without supplemental water we're going to demonstrate how to build a cage to put around the newly planted trees that we're putting in this is a four foot wire. It comes in a very tightly wrapped uh, package, 50 foot rolls or so. Um, once you get it open, if you're doing this by yourself, you need a couple of pretty heavy rocks. You need a measuring tape that you can stick out and you need to know how big your cage is going to be. Um, typically out here, we make the cages about three foot in diameter. Um, go back to your math and you'll find out that how many feet do you need for a three foot diameter cage? It's pi times the diameter. So approximately three, one, four times three. So I'm gonna make it about 10 feet. Good enough for government work. So you've got your rocks at the end of the wire down there and you're gonna measure out, keeping your leg against the roll, 10 feet, which is right here. Put my foot on the spot. Get my clippers out and I make the first cut at 10 feet. Keep your rocks in place so it doesn't come up and snap you in the face. And down here as you cut, you cut a short piece and a long piece. A short and a long. A short and a long. 
all the way down. This is going to give you the wire to wire the cage together easily. Now, I let this go. This isn't going to bother me. When I let this go, you don't want anybody at the other end. So now that you've got your cage cut, your wire cut, to build your cage, you're gonna be wanting to wear your leather gloves. Ideally, I like to overlap these three panels. So, Overlap about three. Then you have a long wire at the top to start with. And you just wrap it over and around. The next one down, you have a long wire here. Wrap it over and around. You continue that all the way down the cage. Some of this is a little harder than others. But this is the reason why we did the long and short. Gratitude to Terry Southwell for figuring out this method because it makes the cages very sturdy to have this overlap and be attached on either side. Now, when you're measuring out for these cages. Like I said, we typically do about a three foot diameter here. Um, if you have a smaller plant that you don't need three feet for, if you only want two feet in diameter, two times 3.14, five something, I'd give it about six feet. At some point it gets easier to work on the top. And we're done. So the important thing to know how big you want the, the final product to be um, is how much to measure out. Look at the end that you're not cutting and see if you've cut a long piece or a short piece right next to the panel and do the opposite on the other end and that gives you a really sturdy cage. Yeah, it's not going anywhere.